Hey YouTube, so today we have an Audi 2014 Audi that we're working on and we're going to be doing some rear brakes on this Audi but for those of you who have this particular car this is an Audi A4 um, they've got different variations of it the Quattro, then you've got you know other um, the A6, the A8 but anyway, on these newer Audis you kind of need to have a computer to do the rear brakes all right because what happens is you know you go in here and um i don't know if you can actually see that on screen we'll see if we can get that up but um let me get it here you go in here and you have see that where it says brake service boom so you hit the brake service and Provided you have one of these expensive touchscreen computers or some type of computer where you can get into the car. And then you have where you can have the caliper open, caliper close, and you have a function test. So if you have this machine, then of course you can hit the caliper open and then it'll go through the steps of what it's supposed to do. And hopefully it'll open the caliper up for you. So. Now, what do you do if you don't have this machine, or if you have this machine and for some reason it don't seem to want to work right as far as opening the caliper? Because as you can see here, we have caliper open. Now, I've already done this side here, so that's intact. But I'm going to show you a little trick of what to do in a case like that. All right, because just like a regular car, um, that don't have an electronic caliper, you still have to get the piston to squeeze in. All right, so here's a quick, easy trick to do that if you do not have a caliper. First thing you wanna do is open your port for your fluid here, your brake fluid, your brake fluid line. And give me just a second, let me get some tools and some light. Okay, so here's what happens when you get run into that issue without that. First thing you want to do is you want to come to this port right here and you want to open it up. All right, and what that does is that will allow the fluid to come out of the brake caliper while you're compressing it in. All right, so for those of you who, so for those of you who don't have the computer or if your computer's not working and you still need to get this brake job done, just remember tap that port then that will allow you to compress this uh, piston back into the caliper. That's kind of hard. I can't do that and talk, but I can kind of give you an idea. And as you see, as you compress that in, the fluid is gonna come out the back there. Notice down here. Let's see how that's returning. That's going in. All right. Sometimes the boot will get stuck on there. You want to work that loose. It makes it easier to turn. All right. So we'll go ahead and finish. We'll go ahead and finish compressing this out, and well, compressing this in. And then of course we'll go ahead and mount it back on the car. Just want to give you that quick tidbit. The rest of it's pretty simple. It's the basic brake job. Uh, put new pads on there. Of course, if your rotors are damaged, go ahead and turn those while you got this thing apart. And um, once you do have this compressed all the way in, you'll want to close that valve back off. Go ahead and load your, your caliper onto the bracket. 
Hop inside the car, press on the brake pedal until the pedal feels firm. That way you know your brakes are engaged and you should be good to go. If you have any comments or questions, please post, chat, subscribe. And again, thanks for watching YouTube. Have a great day.